Russia uh, launched 48 uh, attack drones against Ru uh, Ukraine overnight and uh, the Ukrainian Air Force said that it shot down 41 out of the 48 and Russia, although has uh, frequently been using these Iranian-made Shahid drones, these uh, use of attack drones have increased more and more recently. They're cheaper and also the ability to launch dozens of them all at once uh, helps Russia to determine the weak spots in Ukraine's air defense systems and these attacks overnight came ahead of Ukraine's Armed Forces Day, which is today where you soldiers and those who have fallen in the war. And President Zelensky this morning uh, published an early morning video address where he walked from his office uh, to the Wall of Remembrance and issued a message of uh, gratitude to the soldiers and said that it has been difficult indeed on the battlefield, but we will uh, win against all odds. And uh, this message also comes ahead of the presidential office, Andre Yermak's visit to Washington as he is trying to shore up more support from the United States to get more funding from the U.S. Congress as it has struggled uh, to pass more uh, funding for Ukraine in recent months. President Zelensky also attended virtually uh, and G7 countries uh, basically want to send a strong signal of support for Ukraine that it continues to stand with Ukraine, especially amid uh, concerns that global attention may have shifted away from Ukraine ever since the conflict between Israel and, and Hamas erupted on October uh, seventh, uh, G7 countries uh, are trying to limit uh, Russia from earning uh, revenues from its trade in metals and diamonds, especially diamonds. Russia is a, a, the world's biggest exporter of rough diamonds. And also uh, to try to implement more strongly the price cap on Russian oil, which has uh, weakened in, in, in recent months. And for example, the United States ha just recently announced that it will impose sanctions uh, on those who violate this price cap. So basically, the discussions focus on how to continue to try to cripple Russia's ability to test. And just last week, Putin signed a new budget into law uh, saying that uh, the country's uh, one third of the country's spending uh, will be spent on uh, national defense. So this is a huge concern for Ukraine.